The screw modifier does exactly what you would expect it to do. It creates a screw-like pattern from a mesh. So for example, if I apply screw modifier to our cube here, and increase the screw distance, you can see that we have our new screw-like shape here. So just to quickly go through these options, angle just adjusts the angle of the screw shape, The screw slider here increases or decreases the offset and length of the screw shape. And the iterations count here is very similar to the array modifying blender. It increases the number of iterations of the mesh across the chosen axis. And speaking of axis, you can change what axis you want your screw to generate on. So at the moment it's Z axis, you can do X or Y. And then the steps viewport here just increases the number of steps in the screw shape. The last thing I want to show you with this modifier is the axes object field here, which is really cool. So I create an empty over here. And then I can assign the empty to our axes object here. You can see that the screw pattern is morphing based on the position of our empty. You could use this to create some interesting staircase patterns. If you were to select the object screw box here, it gives the axes object more control over your screw mesh. So that's really the main parts of the screw modifier covered. I hope this has helped you and I will see you in the next video.